Slope trigger will trigger on the positive or negative slope of a specified time interval. It is useful for capturing sawtooth and triangular shaped signals. This video will show how to use the slope trigger. Let's use a function generator like the Regal DG4000 series to output an arbitrary waveform with a 5 volt peak to peak amplitude and 1 millisecond period. There are two triangular waves in each cycle of this waveform. One triangular wave has a 90 microsecond rise time and 100% symmetry. The other has a 270 microsecond rise time and 100% symmetry. Now let's connect this signal to channel 1 of a Regal DS2000 series oscilloscope. Press Auto. As can be seen, the default trigger type is Edge, and the trigger point is not fixed. Now change the trigger type to Slope. and select Source as Channel 1. As you can see, there are now six types of trigger conditions available. Here we choose the first selection which configures the trigger to latch when the positive slope time of the input signal is greater than the specified time. Note that the positive slope time is defined as the time difference between the two crossing points of the trigger level line A and B with the positive edge while negative slope time is defined as the time difference between the two crossing points of trigger level line A and B with the negative edge. To adjust the trigger level, first select the desired vertical window, and then you can move the upper or lower limits, or both of them. Now let's use the multifunction knob to adjust the upper limit and lower limit to 10% and 90% of the rising edge. In addition, we should set the time parameter. Since the rising time of the two rising edges are 90, 90 microseconds and 270 microseconds, we could set the time longer than 90 microseconds, but shorter than 270 microseconds. Note that if the time is shorter than 90 microseconds, or longer than 270 microseconds, the scope cannot get a stable trigger. That's how the slope trigger for the Regal oscilloscopes is configured. Here's a summary of the key points. You want to set the basic parameters of the scope, choose the slope trigger, choose the proper trigger condition, select the vertical window and adjust the trigger levels, and then set the proper time frame.